Hi, so my name is Tim Brecht. I'm teaching a course this term. Uh, and the topic is experimental performance evaluation. So the motivation, and, and this I got from one of my colleagues. He said, I, I kind of wish I had had a, an opportunity to take a class like this before I submitted my first paper. So you might get a review back from a paper that's been submitted, and the review might look like this. So the idea for this paper is sound, but unfortunately the performance evaluation is weak, or there's insufficient evidence in this paper to support some of the claims. And as a result, the paper gets rejected, right? And so, so this, is, this is a pretty common thing, and, and as a reviewer of many papers, I will reject papers based on some of these issues. And so the idea is to hopefully help people to to do a better job, right? So we're going to study some of the issues, challenges, and techniques and pitfalls of conducting evaluations, performance evaluations. It'll largely be experimental, but, but uh, you know, some simulation studies as well, I guess. So the big issue is how do you conduct scientifically sound experiments? How do you draw valid conclusions that can be supported by the evidence that's in the paper? Um, and then also to help you to critically evaluate performance experiments. So if you're reading somebody else's paper, you might be able to say, hey, wait a minute. You know, they did really well, but they only tested one scenario, and I bet it doesn't work in some other scenario, and I think I have some pretty good ideas about how to solve problems in that other scenario. And so that might be an opportunity for some, some new research. So the recommended background, some basic statistics is useful. Uh, it's important to have good oral and written communication skills. You're going to write a paper in the class. And then these are useful but not required, right? Why? Well, because a lot of the topics that we'll talk about will come from systems. So we might read a paper that has to do with operating systems or networking or computer architecture. And so having some, a bit of background in some of those areas can be helpful. This, this one probably not so much, but, but the other two perhaps. <coughs> Course breakdown tentatively. There will be class participation. Are you attending class? Are you participating in the discussion? Are you dominating the discussion? That's not so good. Are you participating enough, right? Enough, but not too much. Uh, there will be paper summaries required for the papers that we read. They'll be due each week. And there will be a small class presentation, so you'll be graded on those. Um, as opposed to other classes, I don't like to have students present a paper each week. I prefer that we all read the papers and then have a discussion, so you won't have to present a paper. But there will be a class project, and um, the class project will be write a small paper, so about a six-page paper, and I'll explain a bit what that means. And then we also, in addition, will have a project review. Everybody will review each other's projects, and I'll explain again in a bit. So the meetings are going to be discussion of the papers read, possibly some case studies, a uh, little bit of feedback regarding projects, and some of this will depend on the interest and the needs of the students. So what I'm hoping is that you know, if you're in data systems group or you've got an interest in AI and, and you'd like to compare algorithms in AI, maybe we can read some papers and, and have some discussion in that space. I've got some ideas of some papers to start with and some papers in systems, but depending on the interests of the students, we, we can tailor that. So the course project will be essentially you're going to write a paper. It'll be about a six-page paper. And the idea is to conduct a, a performance evaluation. Or, and so in that case, if you have your own ideas, or you can get some help from me or some ideas from me, so you'll do that as part of your paper. Um, or if, if you're at a point where you're not quite ready to conduct an experiment, you might do some of the groundwork to conduct an experiment, like trying to understand a workload so that if you were to actually conduct an experiment, you know what kind of load would need to be generated against, you know, in that experiment. Or to build a benchmark. In some cases, you need to benchmark software, but there is no benchmark software, so maybe that's, that's an aspect that could be done for, for the project. So the idea will be you write a paper that motivates the work, explains the methodology, and describes the results. After that's done, you will read and evaluate the other papers from the class, depending on how many students there are, and, and so you can work individually or in groups, depending on how many papers there are. You'll probably read three to four papers, maybe five at the most, but probably three or four, and, and provide a review like you would for a conference paper, right? So it'll be just run like a conference. And then we're going to have one extra class at the end of the term. So the last class will be on, I think it's the 1st of December, and we're going to have one more on the 8th. And on the 8th, we're going to have a program committee meeting. So students tell me that it's a really interesting insight into what happens in a room where you have a program committee meeting, and it helps them to figure out, whoa, wait a minute, I didn't realize that was going to be such a big deal. 
Uh, I need to improve that when I'm writing my paper. Uh, here's the details. Fridays 10 to 12.20. If you're interested, you may have missed a class. Well, sorry, if, if you haven't attended this morning, you did miss one of the classes. Um, this is the location, the website. If you search, if you Google um, 854 Brecht U Waterloo, you should get one of the links. Just make sure you get to the fall 2017 version. Um, I've offered a class similar to this in like 2011. So. Uh, things have changed a little bit. Um, if you want to send me email, make sure you put this in the subject line. I get like a thousand emails a day. Uh, 990 of them are spam. And so don't, don't, so this will whitelist you, okay? Um, pay, I, I don't, did they talk, did, has anybody talked about this? The, especially this is difficult for new students. What happens at Waterloo in computer science is that people are worried about getting into classes. Classes have caps. They're worried about getting into classes. So people will intend to take two classes, but they'll enroll in five. They're not going to take five, but they enroll in five. And so classes look full. And so just because a class looks full doesn't mean you can't get into it. And, you, and, and it's very likely that half of the people that are enrolled will drop. And so if you're interested, attend the class, do the work, and, and see what happens, right? And talk to the professor, right? They'll, they'll get a sense. After the first week, you know, the, the attendance drops off pretty heavily in all grad classes. So if you missed the class today, there's a small assignment due next week. It's on the web page. It's, and, and it's a really, really small assignment. The assignment is, the idea is you're supposed to discover issues and some motivation for what we're going to be doing in the class. And the idea is you write a program to measure disk bandwidth. Okay? It needs to be a spinning disk. You write a small program, measure the, measure the throughput. Uh, if, you can't, if you don't have access to a spinning disk, Get in touch, I'll, I'll get you a machine uh, with access. A lot of the CSCF machines have spinning disks on them, it, it's not hard. And then you'll do a very short presentation on your findings in class. Uh, it's outlined on the web page what that looks like. Um, and so see the course web page for details. Questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs>